Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with Red Dead Redemption 2. If you enjoy this content, please get my channel logo tattooed on you as big as possible and then streak during a popular sports game, as this would really help spread the good word of my channel. So I load in and my boy isn't wearing a shirt or shoes as I took them off last video to make him look more authentic. See, I really wanted to sell the heartwarming story that this guy is a crack addict and despite his physically aged and worn appearance, he is only 21 years old. Anyway, there's this new update out where you can become a bounty hunter, a trader or a collector. Obviously, I'm going to become a bounty hunter because it sounds like the most violent. I go and trigger an unskippable cutscene that introduces me to bounty hunting. I would have thought that this is a profession that doesn't really need an explanation. You literally just kill or capture someone for money, but it wouldn't be a rockstar game without a long drawn out cinematic that slowly but surely gives you clinical depression. The cutscene is extremely progressive as we watch an African-American female cowboy deliver a wagon load of privileged white male corpses. Look at them lying there all dead, enjoying that white male privilege. I light her joint for her as if I can get her high, maybe she'll stop murdering everyone. But psych, no. Some guy gives up and she's like, LOL, I'm going to kill you anyway as I'm too high to discuss the terms of your surrender. So I'm waiting for my boy Stealth Omato to load in so that we can hunt some bounties. I decide to start a fist fight with one of the local residents to fulfill my boredom, but as I've been playing so many different games lately, my brain malfunctions with the controls and I accidentally shoot him. Well, I mean the first shot was an accident, the follow-up shots were for a cheap laugh. I have to escape, as apparently premeditated homicides are a big no-no in the sweet little town of Rhodes. But as I try to flee into a field, my horse gets DDoSed and I eat shit. The Stealth Omato then majestically show jumps over the fence, which really makes me feel incompetent. We go back to Rhodes and the game tells us to kill all the bounty hunters, which means it's the perfect time to whip out my incendiary shotgun that I've nicknamed the Devil's Dick. It's also a smart small business decision killing off all the competition so that we can charge people whatever we like for our services. I actually feel like the Wild West was a far simpler time where bullets solved problems and didn't cause any issues. Like back then, everyone was uneducated as there was far fewer schools and therefore simply nowhere to shoot. So we finish off the remaining bounty hunters and are prompted to escape the area and this time I just don't jump any fences because my horse is genuinely shit. This this vibrant horse here, however, is I think the Arabian elite superior horse and it truly is a magnificent creature. I then proceed to fire an explosive arrow at it, which predictably kills it instantly. I then feel bad as I just butchered some player's random horse, so I use a horse reviver on it and I bring the beast back to life like I was some sort of animal Jesus. Though I guess that's kind of a poor analogy as I was the one who killed it, but still. I work miracles. So it's time to get a real target, and our first one is a man named Vic Moore. He's wanted for committing the crime of corner camping with a shotgun while playing online games. What a cheap tactic, let's ruin his life. We ride out, and I know I say this every time I play Red Dead, but like hot damn how good does this game look? It genuinely looks better than real life. Anyway, we've got to capture this guy dead or alive, but we do get more money if he is alive. We reach the location and he's hiding out in an old church, so I whip out my explosive arrows again, but this time not to commit war crimes against Arabian horses. This time I figure if I just launch several arrows at the base, it'll be kind of like a Wild West drone strike or something. Unfortunately, I misjudge how brave Vic Moore was as he didn't hide from us. He ran out to the front and was exploded instantaneously, so yeah, tango down. Not exactly a flawless first day in the office and I'll be the first to admit that I acted carelessly but we got it done and so we ride back towards the sheriff's office. We're almost back when this guy in the wagon tells me to watch where I'm going and you know what mate, that's fair. I was going too fast and your feedback is not only welcomed, it's appreciated. I dump the body out the back like a boss and then the sheriff walks out of his office onto the deck and is like, yeah nah yeah nah yeah nah yeah nah nah yeah nah yeah nah nah yeah nah great work fellas, here's your reward. $3.43? Come on bruh. I know that $3.43 was worth more back then, but do you realize how much my unathletic horse eats? We just murdered like eight people too. I'm going to need to see an expensive psychologist for the rest of my life and you're throwing me $3.43? That doesn't even buy me a hand job at a homeless shelter. To rub salt into the wound, Marto then spits on me somehow. 
I didn't even know that was a thing, but to be honest, it kind of seems overly kinky for an online game. Anyway, time to pick ourselves up and keep slogging away at our minimum wage job. Our next targets are the bandit siblings named Emily and Nate Mead. So Marto and I ride out, determined that this time we don't accidentally kill the targets. And by we, I mean me. It seems like they're on the move, so I choose a rifle and proceed to gun them all down. While I gun them down, I'd like to talk to you about today's video sponsor. This video is sponsored by Modest Pelican Gaming. Do you enjoy watching an Australian guy in his 20s drink water on camera and play video games live? Then why not check out my Twitch account? Do you enjoy reading tweets on Twitter? Probably not, right? I remember I thought Twitter was crap and a complete waste of time before I started a YouTube channel, but anyway, you should definitely follow me on Twitter where I tweet out insightful and life-changing things. Do you enjoy observing people trying to find a sense of self-worth by posting narcissistic photos of themselves online? Who doesn't, right? Then why not follow me on Instagram? All of these accounts will be linked in the top comment and in the description of this video, and thanks again to today's sponsor. So yeah, we successfully capture the Mead siblings, and we didn't accidentally kill either of them, and trust me, I'm the most surprised out of anyone about that. The sheriff's like, yeah nah, yeah nah, yeah nah, yeah nah, yeah nah, yeah good work you two, here's some dollar dollar bills. In fact he pays us $20 this time, and that actually seems like a fair price. Even more surprisingly is my honor rank increases for the first time in a while, and I start to become a good guy. It's actually really hard to keep your honor rating high when you consistently cull NPCs, I'll tell you that much. We decide to ride over to the big city of Saint Denis and it would be rude not to take a wagon. I try to lasso the driver and end up teleporting him to the f***ing nether or something. I guess all this crack has turned my guy into a wizard and I'm not sure about that. We make good speed, and man, look at Marto just whipping that horse. It seems a bit over the top, but that high level of enthusiasm is admirable. I even get some artistic shots of the journey, it's really quite sensational. Marto even names the horse pulling this rig Harry Trotter, which is really sweet, as he's clearly becoming quite attached to that stallion. I proceed to shoot Harry Trotter in the head. So we keep on bounty hunting, it's sort of just the same thing every time, but I still find it fun. During one epic chase scene, Marto and I collided horses and I came flying off. It's funny how non-seriously we take gaming sometimes, but what's funnier is while my horse is having an asthma attack on the floor, he rides back over it, basically curb stomping the big girl. He insists that this was a complete accident, but I call bullshit on that. Eventually we gather ourselves and catch up to our target, but when I go to lasso him, my guy bloody casts another spell and he just yeets away and we fail. Mother f***ing wizards man, you just can't trust them. Our friend Stealthofieldo decides to log in and say good day. Sometimes you guys ask why all my friends have Stealtho before their name, and well it's actually a really interesting and funny story. So anyway, we meet my friend and he's a boss at first person shooters, but he's apparently a quadriplegic when it comes to Red Dead Redemption, and he doesn't even know how to stop his horse. We teach him the basics, and then I fire an explosive arrow at his feet as some sort of hazing ritual, I guess. Look honestly, I did it for the vine, so to speak, but by the vine, I mean I did it because I found it amusing. Stealthomato and Stealthofieldo then proceed to spit at me, which for some reason seems more disrespectful than being exploded by an arrow, and what's more annoying is I don't know how to spit back. It's just one way spitting. So as it's Stealthofieldo's first time playing Red Dead Online, we do the most fun thing we can think of. Crack. I mean climb onto a train. Sorry, it's been 16 hours since my character last used, and he's figuratively got ants under his skin. It's stuff like jumping onto a train though that doesn't seem to get old for some reason, it's just really cool. We climb on top of one of the train cars, and the sun is rising, and it's pretty epic. Right up until the lads start bloody spitting on me again. God damn dude, next time I see them in person, I'll take out my revenge and just spit on them in real life. I bet Marto that he won't jump off the bridge, and he does like an absolute legend. But then he drowns like a Chinese tourist who doesn't understand the concept of one's lungs filling up with water. While Marto is busy drowning, we do some sick parkour stunts that have likely never been attempted before. We don't play by the rules. No helmets, no virginities, no f***. 
box. Playtime is over though, it's time for us to get back to that 9 till 5 grind. It's back to tying up prisoners platonically and then handing them over to law enforcement. The sheriff's like, yeah thanks mate. To celebrate yet another successful capture, we decide to play a fun little prank on some of the local policemen. In a synchronised fashion, we lasso them and proceed to drag them through the cobblestone streets of Saint Denis, until eventually their bodies can't take any more trauma and they die. Now I don't want to say that their friends overreacted, but next thing we know we're on the roof of a dock warehouse being swarmed by Pinkertons. It's funny how whenever you play an open world game, it's only a matter of time before you end up just shooting shooting everyone and seeing how long you can last. It turns out our defensive location is a bit too effective and we are basically invincible, so after a long while, we kind of get bored and decide to slide down the ladder and bail. Well I mean, I use the ladder, but it seems like the lads just jumped and it didn't go too well for them. With no time for a proper burial, I whip out my trusty shotgun and cremate them. I plan to spread their ashes over a construction site that has lots of concrete because they both need to harden up. I then buy some suspenders, which I'll happily admit were a super questionable purchase. I also stab some guy who was playing the trumpet, which gives me major deja vu from a previous video, and finally we head down to the waterfront for some fishing. You can't play Red Dead Online and not go fishing, it's just sacrilegious. Stealtho Fieldo doesn't even have a fishing rod yet because his level is too low, and so he just gets in the water and pretends to be a fish. It's the pinnacle gameplay experience for him. Mackerel Simulator 2019. So yeah, in summary, bounty hunting was fun. Thanks for watching you bloody legends and a massive shout out to my patrons for generously supporting the channel and helping make this content possible. Until next time and as always, stay classy.